Now at 6, the holiday travel rush has begun. We are live at San Diego International Airport with everything you need to know if you're heading out the door this morning. And negotiators are nearing a deal with Hamas to release hostages in exchange for allowing more aid into Gaza. We'll have the latest on where those talks stand. Plus, preparing a Thanksgiving feast on a budget. We're working for your wallet, finding ways to help you save money. Turkey dinners for the community, and then a trip to Hawaii for the employees. The we meet possibly the best bosses ever. The Santa Ana winds are active yet again today, but we're going to see temperatures cool down as we get toward Thanksgiving. We'll even talk about the possibility of some early morning mist in the forecast toward early next week. It's Tuesday, November 21st at 6 a.m. And you're up with CBS 8. So glad you're joining us here on this Tuesday, everyone. I'm Eric Connard. And I'm Nadia Iram Hora. Some of you may be getting ready to head out the door this morning. Maybe you're getting ready to go to the airport or start traveling on the roads. What kind of conditions will it be like? Of course, we want to check in with meteorologist Evan Rani. Evan, driving yesterday right after work at mm -hmm. like 1 o'clock, I was getting hit by tree branches. Oh, I yeah. know. It was I mean, it was really quite windy. windy out That's there, why yeah. over the mountains, high-profile vehicles especially, you know, yeah. big trucks, for example, have to really take caution. Yeah. I mean, Julian got to 45 miles miles per hour. We an hour ago were checking right. in on Alpine at 60 yeah. miles per yeah. hour. So it is very windy out there, whether you're along the coast or inland. Uh, but most of those wind gusts are centered toward the foothills and toward the mountains. That's kind of the main microclimate that we have the most uh, intense wind gusts. Still, all that uh, wind is coming over the mountains and headed toward the coast and your inland valleys. That's warm, dry air. So notice your coastline and your inland valleys are going to be warmer than the deserts today. 78 along the coast, 84 the valleys. If we look at your gusts right now, yeah, there it is. Alpine at 64 miles per hour. So it is just plain windy out there. We'll check in with the National Weather Service, see if they can confirm that number. But that is a pretty intense wind gust to come through the Alpine area. If we look at the day over the course of the next several hours, kind of hour by hour, we're going to be looking at sunshine. It's going to be another gorgeous one out there just expected to be very dry and abnormally warm before we start to see conditions cool down and an increase in cloud cover that's all going to be leading up to Thanksgiving so Thanksgiving will be a little cloudier and a little cooler and we'll let you know just how much that's going to be impacting your plans out there in just a few back to you all right, Evan, thank you so much. And now the holiday travel rush is really ramping up this morning. Airports across the country are preparing for record traffic ahead of Thanksgiving. And this is how things look right now. You're looking at Boston, Massachusetts. On the top right, Arlington, Virginia and Queens, New York. AAA estimates a near record number of Americans. 55 million people will travel more than 50 miles from their home this year, with a majority hitting the roads. How are things looking at the airport here this morning? CBSH Regina Yorita live at San Diego International with everything we need to know. We've seen a lot of people coming and going there, Regina. Yeah, Ned and Eric, and we wanted to change uh, the perspective here and kind of show you guys what those TSA lines look right now. So right behind me, you can see it is very long. This actually starts before the gate of that TSA line. So uh, people have been coming here uh, very early. Some were very surprised to see this line. We talked to one passenger who's traveling to Hawaii, and he said he came here an hour earlier from his flight, and when he saw this line, he was shocked, and he's uh, just praying that he's going to actually make it to his flight. So uh, let's say a a little prayer to him. Hopefully he makes it to Hawaii because he's going to meet some friends. But uh, this is what you're expecting, uh, not only today, but also tomorrow, which will be the busiest travel day. So San Diego County Regional Airport Authority estimates as many as 84,000 passengers uh, will arrive and depart each day during the busy Thanksgiving holiday travel week. Now, if you are planning to fly out of the San Diego International Airport, remember construction is still heavy because of the new T1 parking plaza that's underway. Airport parking is extremely limited, but there is parking available at the Terminal 2 parking plaza. So here are a couple tips. Arrive at least two hours early to avoid the busiest times, which are 4 a.m. to 6.15 a.m., 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., and 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. Make parking reservations if you can. Take the free San Diego uh, shuttle service between the Old Town Transit Station or have family or friends drop you off or use rideshare services. As far as travel across the nation, nearly 50,000 scheduled flights are expected on Wednesday alone. It's why the FAA is opening up extra airspace, which is very rare and is usually reserved for the military. So here's what officials had to say about that.
If you're feeling a little bit stressed about security, I would say give yourself a little extra time. So back out here, just showing you those TSA lines again. If you are listening to us, uh, definitely check them out. If you're heading to this airport, because uh, this is just Tuesday, but tomorrow uh, it is expected to be even busier as far as uh, those traveling on the road. So if you're traveling by car, AAA is expecting uh, to be its third busiest Thanksgiving travel season. So most people uh, they're expecting to be traveling to their destination between Wednesday and Sunday. So keep that in mind. So stick with us in the next half hour. As I said, we were talking to a one passenger who is heading to Hawaii, and he was just shocked to see these lines. I'll send things back to you guys. Yeah, they're growing each time we check in there. Thank you. If you're driving to your Thanksgiving holiday destination, get ready for a break at the pump. Gas prices are continuing to drop across the county. Right now, the average price for a gallon of gas in San Diego, 509. Last week, we were paying 520. Despite the break at the pump, road trip expenses can add up. So what can you do to minimize your costs? Shop around. Don't just pull over at the nearest station. Use apps to help you find the cheapest gas near you. It always can pay to shop around, especially with prices now declining for nine straight weeks. Some stations are lowering their prices much quicker than others. And here's one more tip. Pay in cash if you can. Some stations offer cash discounts. Starting tomorrow, the California Highway Patrol is increasing patrols here and statewide to watch out for impaired drivers. It is a yearly effort to get under the influence and reckless drivers off the road over the Thanksgiving weekend. The period starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow and goes until 11.59 p.m. Sunday. CHP officers will be scouting freeways and rural routes. And this morning, we are learning more about the pilot who was killed in last week's small plane crash in La Jolla. 74-year-old Michael Salor was piloting his Cessna and was the sole person on board flying from the Bay Area back here to San Diego County when he apparently ran low on fuel. This crashed near a number of townhomes, but nobody else was injured in it. Salor was a trained physicist who found a number of high-tech companies in Carlsbad. Prior to that, he held a number of academic research and faculty positions, including at Harvard and MIT. The NTSB is continuing its investigation into what caused the crash. This morning, a candidate for Chula Vista's next city attorney calling for an investigation into city council members. It comes at the same time a city council woman is facing criminal charges. Marco Verdugo's plan would look for corruption and allow the council to suspend a council member with a majority vote. Anyone convicted of a crime may also have to pay back their salary. Council member Andrea Cardenas and her brother are accused of using PPP loan money for personal gain. Marco Verdugo is running against Bart Meisfield in a March runoff election. A new report from the National Weather Service is giving us a better idea of how El Nino will impact our weather this winter. The National Weather Service just updated its rain and temperature outlook for the next few months. They say this El Nino has the potential to become historically strong. Meteorologists say we could see a 40 to 50 percent chance of above normal precipitation. The outlook also shows above normal temperatures. A NASA analysis also says a strong El Nino could cause high tide flooding and lead to a 10 year flood event in cities, including Seattle and San Diego. But for now, glad to see how uh, nice it's going to be this yeah. week. Yeah, I mean, we did see a little bit of rain for that uh, Wednesday of last week yeah. through about Saturday right. stretch. But I mean, it's doing wonders for us now yeah. because our fire danger has been reduced by Good. quite a decent margin. So we're watching as those Santa Ana winds are active yet again. And instead of watching for prime fire danger, what we're dealing with is just the consequences of those dry winds. So that might be reapplying an extra layer of moisturizer or chapstick, uh, whatever you've got going on out there. Enjoy the outdoors. I mean, we still have a gorgeous day ahead. We just have to keep in mind it is going to be particularly dry. 79 degrees though, 10 degrees warmer than average is about what we're looking at on those afternoon highs. Wind advisory stays in effect through 2 p.m. today. So this is going to remain in effect until that time frame for our valleys and our in our mountains. Uh, after that, we'll still see a good portion of Southern California under a wind related alert. They're mainly though going to be up around Orange County into LA County. We in San Diego will likely be alert free by that time frame after 2 p.m today as those winds begin to die down and then tomorrow Wednesday we'll actually start to see a shift in wind direction and that will allow for some cooling to take place all the way through the weekend Thursday in particular 
more cloud cover, a drop by about 10 degrees on our afternoon high temperatures. So that's going to be the more notable change in the forecast that'll come on Thanksgiving itself. In the meantime, current temperatures walking out the door 67 degrees in Escondido, 68 in Poway, 55 in La Mesa, 51 in San Diego. It's dependent on where you are as to whether or not you're noticing those very cold temperatures out there. Mount Laguna, for example, at 40 degrees, Julian at 49 degrees versus many of our valleys in the 60s right now, thanks to just that warm, dry air. So between now and Friday, notice that drop in temperatures. We stay in the upper 60s through Saturday and even Sunday. Cloud cover is going to increase from tomorrow onward, and we'll especially see that prevalent going into that Thursday through Saturday time frame. We'll kind of start to begin the day with that gray marine layer, and that'll pull back by each afternoon, give us partial sunshine and 60s out there. So big change from today through the weekend. All right, let's check in on traffic. See how your roads are looking at 610 on the clock right now. No major crashes or collisions. It's another quiet start to our morning. This week has been quiet on the roads uh, here at the six o'clock hour, likely because there's uh, fewer people on it for the week, but we do know that many are getting started with their holiday travel. So uh, earlier in the day is uh, definitely going to be uh, quicker commute if you're making your way, say, up to L.A. or uh, for your holiday travel plans. Otherwise, CBS8.com slash traffic can give you the latest. Let's check in on border wait times. San Ysidro Port of Entry, 55 minute wait right now. Otay Mesa Port of Entry will take you slightly longer, about an hour 20 in total. Ned and Eric, back to you. Evan, thank you so much. And still ahead here, negotiators are nearing a deal with Hamas to release hostages in exchange for allowing more aid into Gaza. We'll have the very latest on where those talks stand. And three people are recovering here this morning after they were injured at Disneyland. We'll show you what happened. Plus, Congress is demanding answers about Live Nation and Ticketmaster's policies. We'll have those stories and much more when we come back.